We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature. Don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, or what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men, with machine minds and machine hearts. <laughs> Jason Hermes. And who loves you? And who do you love? Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. And I couldn't help myself. Um, so, you know, last week, Alex Jones uh, launched a video game. And it's very much in the arcade classic style of a game I'm going to show you in a moment. Metal Slug. In fact... If I, I don't want to mute it because it even has like the same kind of almost voiceover style. So we're definitely going to check out Metal Slug. And Metal Slug's playthrough is about 30 odd minutes, a little bit more, if you're good. Okay, now I played, spoiler alert, I played the first level last night. I didn't want to spoil anything else. I just wanted the rest to be trailers and stuff I kind of skimmed off the internet. But it was pretty damn fun. Like, it was a good Metal Slug ripoff. And at the same time, uh, it, it's like, you know, it wants you to beat the game. It's not too hard. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the run done uh, in the show. I, I don't know. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to get it done throughout the show. I've got some other news. If it's, it goes a little short, no, I mean, we got some pandemic treaty news that we want to talk about. Big wins in uh, Calgary. Uh, and some other pure gold. We, you know, we, we, do, we do it live here. <laughs> and this game is already uh, getting a, attention because big gamers have streamed right through it. And listen, I'm almost hesitant because I don't know what's coming up uh, to play it on YouTube because it's my channel. But I've seen some of the biggest gamers out there uh, playing it and putting it out there and putting the complete run through out there. So to me, that says, okay, I should be able to do that. And if I get a strike for this or something ridiculous, um, you know, we'll fight it. And we'll, we'll at least have the big time examples to fight back. So Metal Slug here in the background. And I'll take myself right out. Th this is basically the game. In fact, it almost looks like they skinned it. Like, oh, I love that, that sound. Yeah, here we go. So, Neo Geo system. And Metal Slug's a classic, right? Like, there's three of them. Um, we gotta watch the volume on everything. I, I'm gonna have to do the same thing on Jones, because obviously we're gonna wanna talk over it. Gaming online is not usually my thing. But even the opening, like, cheese sequence of uh of this here is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so let, let actually let's see if let's see if uh if I restart yes you'll load it right here. There it is. And NW what what happened to the uh oh, 
So we got to make sure we got the volume. We got the controller. And, th and this, oh no, the controller just shut off. Um, this is a thing I really liked. That the fact that the controller just kind of works. Because if I had to play with a keyboard, no thank you. All right, guys, get ready. Thumbs it up, subscribe, and share. We're doing it, and we're doing it live. It's the Alex Jones uh, campaign playthrough. We hope. Oh, that, that's right. It's through a browser, though. That's a little weird. I, I'd like some kind of an EXC. All right, here we go. Campaign. Let's do it. Pretty simple control. Little Dr. Fooker has hatched a plan to turn everyone into a gay frog by injecting you with an mRNA LGBTQ tadpole technology vaccine that depletes your testosterone and turns you into a rainbow amphibian. Well, there we go. That's that's the beginning. Bump, bump, bump. Ready. Go. I'm here to save the beagles. Stop torturing the puppies. <laughs> All right. Bloody video game. Yeah. And what's nice is even if there's like a little bit of lag on my screen, I'm able to go through it. And he, and he breaks out the knife too. The answer I, I to 1984. Like. Say hello to my little friend. little friend. So Jones with a uh, turret machine gun. There we have the uh, the froggies. This is as fake as Big Mike being a woman. Now you guys know that I do believe that uh, Michelle Obama is indeed a woman, and uh, you know I should get uh, Joel Gilbert on my show to talk about that. He actually went to uh, Michelle Obama's hometown. He he believes she's still gonna run. That's right, Jonesy. Get in there. I'm not gonna Machine lie. Gun. I'll eat your head. <laughs> I mean, when you when you look at this, global warming is a hoax. As a uh, as an arcade style Machine game, gun. they did a bang up job. I mean, first level. Oh, here we go. I'm going to lower the world's population. <laughs> I'm going to lower the world's population. <laughs> I mean, are the lawsuits coming? Maybe. I don't know. Let's hope it doesn't get banned. Because I think this is hilarious. I'm going to lower the world's population. <laughs> And the truth is that, like, it should also send a message that this is like the zeitgeist. Oh, I, I'll take the death there. I'll take the death. I thought you did computers, libtard. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff right there. The thing is that this also easily could get a sequel. I mean, I don't know how uh, diverse the I'll guns get, all that stuff. But we're, we're going to try to beat them all. We just we just took out the uh, Bill Gates parody. Obviously, that's who that was supposed to be. Machine gun. That's right. Lot, lots of, lots of uh, rainbow frogs in the game. Spitting rainbow goo at you. I'll eat your ass. <laughs> oh. All right, we got to get that machine gun again, guys. Don't worry, we're about to get to a mechanical machine Fauci gun. clone soon. And that's really what the kids want. They're turning the friggin' frogs gay. Yes, they are, Alex. Oh no. Oh man, guys, you know the, uh, we, we talked a little bit about the JFK anniversary. 
And on the other program, I had a guy named Fred Litwin. Machine gun. And just everything is fake to Fred Litwin, or everything is a coincidence. There's no evidence that it's Oswald Dr. was an Fuker. FBI. I am so scared. Oh, we got I Fuker. love needles. <laughs> so obviously, here's the Fauci clone, everybody. Put on your mask, peasant. We're taking him down. We're taking down the Fauci clone. Take extra shots. Oh, that's right. not fair. I didn't realize I couldn't step in the green goo. Stupid bitch. Oh. Did you get yes, your you 10 boosters? Stop. And by the way, there is a... Uh, Power gauge there. Like, we knew we got him. Boom! There we go. Fauci's out. And we freed the Beagles, everybody. Come on, that's funny stuff. That's funny stuff right there. Guys, let's get the thumbs up here. Mission uh, complete! It's hard to get any kind of viewership here on YouTube, even when you're playing video games. But I guess when you're playing Alex Jones games and you're Jason Vermis. The, the big, big tech, tech crybaby tyrants have banned us all, locked us in our virtual cages. They're not human, and they're wiping us off the face of the earth with a smile on their satanic faces. But I can stop it. I am prepared to single-handedly defeat big tech lizard nerd and free the patriotic Americans from the mass censorship. So just so everybody knows, I've not been past this right here. Here we go. We're in Frisco. Which means there's going to be pooping zombies Ready. everywhere. Go. Let's free the Patriots and defeat the globalist tech geeks. We got to remember, this is pre Xi Jinping visit. Because had Xi Jinping visited, they would have cleaned all this up. Gotta get that machine, machine gun. gun. Oh, oh, the poop will slow you down if you walk in. <laughs> Man, you know, I was talking to uh, somebody living in New York City, and she's been there probably her whole life. And she's like, Yeah, you don't want to come anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, Say hello well, to my little friend. I, you know, I thought there was big problems with it before. Tell me it's that much worse. And she's like, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, Paul McCartney died 50 years ago. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, again, that is another uh, conspiracy theory that I don't necessarily uh, oh no come death on. can't stop me That's right um, I don't buy into this is as fake as big Mike being a woman and so the uh, the big Mike one no let's go get that machine gun machine Ooh. gun yeah. oh man I'm now I'm getting house I'll eat your ass. Let's just go in there. Oh, that's right. There's super metal vitality to take. All right, let's make that jump. We did it. We did it. Come on. Lots of poopins around. Wow, these globalists are taking over, man. <laughs> oh, there's some Centurion. Yes! <laughs> are you kidding me these right now? These zombies are disgusting. So there's some this kind game of like is truly fascinating, man. So Alex, Alex Jones riding... gay frogs are nuts, dude. A Centurion hippie? Is Machine that what that is? Gun.
coming the up on a break. Was a hoax. <laughs> and yes, we are going to take the breaks here too, folks. Okay, we got a lot of airborne gay frogs. This is as fake as Big Mike being a woman. They're turning the friggin' frogs gay. Okay, let's get pooping zombie out of there. Oh, there's just a big old pile of poop right here. It's a large pile of poop. And turns into Putin. 911 was an inside job. It was a controlled demolition. And by the way, um, say hello to my little friend. It does not surprise me being on the inside of Infowars. There were a lot of poop jokes. Uh, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna leave it at that. It was very juvenile behind the scenes at times with the poop jokes. So, I mean, this has Alex Jones written all over it. I mean, that's it. That's all I can say. Super male vitality activated. <laughs> say hello to my little friend. Okay. Not sure what that is, but we don't want to get hit by it. it I'll matter. eat your ass. Okay. See, I don't know what the rainbow things even give you that they come in. The answer to 1984. I mean, is this 70. has got Metal Slug written all over it. Guys, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're playing Alex Jones NWO Wars. And look, it's $17.76 plus tax. I think it's well worth your time, especially because it does help keep InfoWars on the air. Back after this word from our sponsor. Attention Americans, breaking news. Biden's dangerous plan for a digital dollar is underway. Don't be fooled. It won't benefit you. Take action now. The Federal Reserve phase deployment of FedNow began on July 1st, 2023. Be prepared. This may catch many off guard. Your hard-earned assets are in jeopardy. But there's a simple legal tax loophole to opt out of the digital dollar. Reach out to American Alternative Assets for a free wealth protection guide and discover how to safeguard your wealth with gold and silver IRAs against a failing dollar and volatile markets. Visit protectfrombiden.com. This invaluable guide provides precise steps to transfer your IRA or 401k into precious metals without any tax consequences. Be smart. Don't let Biden force you into using the government's new digital dollar. Visit protectfrombiden.com to get your free guide and get started. Again, that's protectfrombiden.com. We are back. Thumbs it up, subscribe, and share. This is not the normal show, but this isn't a normal video game here. And uh, we're and so right now we're in San Francisco by a social media company, if you can't tell. Uh, taking on rainbow frogs and a horde of uh, pooping zombies in a Alex Jones NW Wars, NWO Wars fundraising fest. So let's turn the volume back on and get back to it. Say hello to my little friend. See, I like the gun. I really hope that they can get some more guns in there. Woo! Super male Alpha vitality. Power. Alpha power. That's funny. So I guess those are free lives. Or extra lives. All right, we're crossing away. A run button wouldn't be terrible, or a way to run. Machine either. gun. Okay, big tech jail. We got some MAGA supporters. Let's free the Patriots. Ah, the Zuckerberg. You will join the Matrix. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we're taking the, down the big tech You will be silenced. So Zuckerberg's definitely got the lizard motif and the demon motif going. You will join the Matrix. That is for certain. Stupid bitch. Oh, I, I took it on the chin, folks. I thought I could get him before. You suck, big tech lizard nerd. I'm saving the Patriots. Mission complete. <laughs> So, I, I don't know exactly what it says, but it looks like some of them... Uh, it, it is MAGA 2024. But the, New record. It's backwards for some reason. Is it supposed to be? No, it's not supposed to be backwards. That's weird. Am I, am I looking at it wrong? No, it looks like... Yeah, no, they've got it backwards. Interesting. All right, next level. Jeffrey Epstein may be dead, but his island is still ripe and full of pedophiles and satanic child sacrifice. Babies are being kidnapped and are being turned into a stew for the globalist elites to eat so they can live forever. The crooked witch of the West Wing is leading the charge, and I am going to get between her and those poor babies. They will not be turned into stew, not on my watch. So we've got a baby stew Epstein Clinton level, and it looks like we're on the level. Ready. We're on Epstein Island. Oh, no. Where's Jeffrey? Oh boy. Okay, we've got skeletons. We've got piranha type things, okay. See, again, I like the machine gun. We gotta get more. We gotta get more. And, and look, if this thing's a success, I don't see why we wouldn't have a sequel, or two sequels, or three sequels, or four. Stupid bitch! Huh? What was that? Global okay. warming is a hoax. So now we're on rainbow bats. Okay. Gotta watch out for those. They're a little bit more nimble. Say hello to my little friend. They're turning the friggin' frogs gay. Okay, we got a big... It's almost like a... Grateful Dead zombie thing going. Killed that pretty easily. That's Machine gun. Boom. Get wrecked. And we're doing it. We're killing them all with Alex Jones, okay? We got a crypt of some sort. Taking that out. Just super male vitality. Now look. I'll eat your ass. Super male vitality <laughs> activated. Stupid bitch. Try again. Well, I'm glad that at least we don't have any of the F bomb Joneses. I think that would have been a mistake. What do we got? Okay. Machine gun. Going past. Here we go. I think this is where we, we fight uh, Bill Clinton, actually. Yeah. Oh, Big Bill, I'm taking you down, rapist. I did not have sexual relations with that saxophone. <laughs> Say hello to my little Oh, friend. that's not fair. Let me take it after I die. Uh, Paul McCartney I did not have sexual relations ago. with that saxophone. <laughs> I'm not even affecting him. I don't know what to do here. Where are the cigars? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like it. We're, we're, we're fighting a lot I'll of stuff here. Back. Where are the cigars? <laughs> but I'm not sure how we take it out. Oh, okay, there we go. I did not have sexual relations with that saxophone. <laughs> Oh man, now we're getting a little more challenging. Hopefully we're going to even be able to beat the Where are the know. cigars? <laughs> I 
at least we can shoot Bill now. Stupid bitch! Yeah! I did not have sexual relations with that saxophone. <laughs> Jeff! Take that, Jeffrey Epstein, you wimp! So we got him. We bit, beat Bill Clinton on the saxophone. That's good. Yeah! I'm here to save the poor, innocent babies. Okay, so we've got Trump in a... Machine gun. You know, I, that's funny because I've often talked about how Trump thinks he's Superman. Or thought he was going to come in as Superman. Come on, let's take these bats out. Boom. I wonder what Trump actually does, if anything. Look at those Say fake hello, news gay friends. frogs. Wow. Okay, so he's got laser eyes. We like that. Nothing wrong with the laser eyes. As we keep going, I got to keep an eye on the time here. Say hello to my little friend. We are going to defeat the globalists very bigly. Believe me. I wonder who they got doing the voiceover on that. Death can't stop. Because they Alex should be hiring the Jackman Bitches. brothers. And a hero. Machine gun. Come on. We're down to four lives. All right, we got five. Lives. Alpha power. Machine gun. Okay, we got the babies to save. The babies are saving right now. Crooked <laughs> witch. <laughs> I came, I saw he died. Oh man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I came, I saw he died. Get this woman. <laughs> I Alex came, Jones, I saw he you died. are a tremendous warrior. And, you know, Alex Jones over the weekend, it's funny. He called Trump a pig. Got her. What's so funny now, dumb witch? And the babies are saved from Hillary Clinton. Mission the witch. complete. See, we're busting through this playthrough. We're doing it. We're, we're getting it done. Hey, let's do it. Castro Jr. is on the loose, trying to force experimental shots while looking like a fruitcake in the process. The Canadian truckers are protesting the oppressive Canadian government. All of their funds have been frozen by the New World Order banks until the citizens relent. Castro Jr. must be overthrown. So this is going to be a Tr Trudeau Canadian level. I'm looking forward to it. And it's, it does. It's got them nice. Go. Unfreeze their money, you communist scumbags. Okay. And they've even got the InfoWars uh, truck. You, you gotta like that. That's fun. That a boy, Jonesy. Okay, so you can't kill those. Just gotta go around them. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if the woo is gonna get old. I, I, I'm enjoying that. Okay, some more rainbow frogs. Oh, we can jump. That's neat. I didn't know cars jump, but that's okay. We'll take it. I'll eat your ass. Well, oh, that's what happened. Tucker Carlson. These gay fox are really grossing me out. What is going on? I wonder if they actually got Machine Tucker to do gun. that. Trucker News Network. Alex Jones is saving the world. <laughs> that's hilarious. You know, they, they put the bow tie back on them, though. 
I didn't need to do that. The bow tie's long gone. Right? Or it should be. It should never come back. Okay, more gay frogs to take out. <laughs> Alex. Well, I'm seeing the angry drunk in German. I think it is their voice. Well, obviously Alex's voice. But I think that's, uh, I'm not sure if Tucker cut those or those are just old clips. Go. Getting taken out here, guys. Not gonna lie. Those snowball things in Canada, the real deal. It's the two fake news jesters. What will I do? You're just locked in your house. That's hilarious. So we got Brian Stelter. Hello no one is friend. talking about your rights. The moon landing was a hoax. Right. So, man, I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, I, the other guy's name is coming to me, but I can't think about it right off the bat. Looks like we may be at another boss level. Not quite. Oh, we do got a new gun! Flamethrower! The lottery is rigged. Nice. There we go. Yeah! They're turning the friggin' frogs game! Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna pause it, because we're about to go to break again. I do want to have everybody thumbs it up, subscribe, and share. I want to remind everybody, the second hour is over at rvmrumble.com. rvmrumble.com. Also, you can support the broadcast at Red Voice Media dot com slash uncensored checking out the uh premiums we got a great kurt metzger two-parter uh we had a lot of fun with kurt um this past weekend so please go check that out and we will be back after this word from our sponsor When I invented my pillow, my passion was to help each and every one of you. And 20 years later, all of your support is what keeps us going. Because of you, we've been able to create thousands of USA jobs and help millions get the best sleep ever. To thank you, my employees and I are bringing you a limited edition my pillow. The Giza Elegance My Pillow is made with my patented adjustable fill, the most amazing cotton, and a two-inch pipe cusset. It has four custom loft levels, machine washable and dryable, and you get my 60-day money-back guarantee and 10-year warranty. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get your limited edition 20th anniversary MyPillow queen size. Retails for $69.98, now only $19.98. That's right, get a queen size MyPillow for only $19.98. From all of us here at MyPillow, thanks for all right, we're doing it. We're going right back into it. We're going to continue on. This is the Alex Jones game, alexjonesgame.com, NWO Wars. NWO Wars. Let's get the volume back on here. And here we go. Ah. Forget, oh, there's... Purple rats in Canada? I do like I did like how that flamethrower felt. Good. So here we go. Kill them all. Alpha power. Boom. Another one down. Can't wait to get. Is this? Are we on Trudeau yet? Let's see. Damn it. All right. Flamethrower is. Global warming is a hoax. (laughs) 
And the last rat really, really took it out of me. Rainbow rat. 911 was an inside job. It was a controlled demolition. And how far we've come that we can actually just sit there. And people aren't freaking out about. Damn it. Freaking out about saying that. Like. It sucks because we never did anything about it. It's why we're in the situation we're in. But, you know. Let's see. How far are we away from Trudeau? Four lives, two? Okay, we got some ice. Everything. You know, kudos to the programmers on this. Because... They did do a really good job. It is slick gameplay. Stupid bitch. Oh Try man, I'm just getting worked over though right now. Oh. I don't want to start this level all over. Okay, let's see what we got. Two lot, one life. We're down to our last life. We got the flamethrower. Flame You're going down, Castro Jr. <laughs> Wear a mask to save Grandma. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. I know it looks easy, folks, but he's got a lot of life, and I've got nothing. We're freezing your money for your safety. We're freezing your money for your safety. Hey, we are going to get it. We're doing well. I'm not gonna lie. We're doing okay. We're freezing your money for your safety. I think we got him. We're freezing your money for your safety. <laughs> Mission complete. Oh, I wonder how many. I, I didn't check to see how many levels it was. I just saw that the playthroughs were under an hour. I guess we'll see. All right, on to the next one here. Alex this Jones. This is it, folks. The New World Order headquarters, where every slimy, dirty, traitorous, no good, lying scumbag Hitlers do their planning. Davos, Switzerland. They're scheduled to drop a gay frog nuke that will turn the entire world into soft, mushy, pink amphibians, and their rule will be eternal. They want us to eat the bugs. They want us to live in a pod. They want us to be gay. And I say, no, never will I bow to Satan. This is a war on our souls, a war on God. Here we go. Ready, go. Hello, globalists. Yep, we got a little kitty cat. Machine gun. Some kind of demon thing Woo! spitting out cats. Okay. Gargoyle demons. Okay. This level's got a very Castlevania vibe to it. I guess, I don't know, I feel like this one, this level's lacking. I guess it's dungeon-esque, but there's so much you could have done with Davos. And NWO headquarters, in my opinion. 911 was an inside job. It was a controlled demolition. 
But again, for, for the level of uh, care that was actually put in this game, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Oh no! I'll eat your ass. This is as fake as Big Mike being a woman. Machine gun. Lot going on. I'll eat your ass. Ow. Yeah, I really hate that demon. I shouldn't be dying all the time like that. Alpha power. Stupid bitch. Come on. The lottery is rigged. The moon landing was a hoax. All right. Get past one of these orbs right here. Boom. Boom. Oh, they're coming at me hard. Ow! Say hello to my little friend. Super male vitality after the super, super, super male vitality, male vitality, 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 vitality. All right, giving me up. Oh, why? Because we're up against Klaus? No, this is a up. time of happy making. Oh, you no. naughty scum. Oh, no. Your district attorneys belong to me. <laughs> oh, come on. Your district attorneys belong to me. <laughs> nice. Okay, now we got a long jump. Making it, all right. Some more super male super vitality. Male vitality after the yeah. All right. Oh, come on. Got this webcam in front of me. I didn't see that rat. Global warming is a hoax. Oh, at least the zombies will go right into the. Uh... Why can't I get that? Super I was gonna say. And we're doing it, folks. Who's next? It's got to be Klaus Nutschwab, right? Although, I don't know why he would be over Soros. I would say that Soros makes way more decisions than Klaus Nutschwab. Global Schwab warming is a hoax. Death can't stop it. Global warming is a yeah. hoax. Getting, Woo! getting mauled by these things. But I am happy with the lives. I mean, I think eventually they should also have some uh, difficulty levels. Because, you know, I'm sure some people would want to run through this, you know, on ultra hard or some nonsense. Yeah, um, say for time hello runs. To my little friend. Here we go. Time to take them on. Yo, I, I could totally see myself playing this on my little Android device, too. The answer to 1980 Super Mario Vitality activated. You gotta watch those tentacles. Yeah. 
See, this is where I should Holy like have my pro controller. Didn't even think about that. Because I'm playing like a metal slug type game. Stupid bitch. Come on. Almost there, guys. Boom. Super male vitality activate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he is. The demon Klaus. You will be happy. The demon Klaus. We're just unloading in the demon Klaus. Death can't stop. You oh, are come on. Oh, come on again. I'll eat your ass. You will live in the pot. Oh, I'll eat your ass. Almost there, guys. And then we're going to take a break. Defeated Klaus. Is that going to be the end of the game? Um, that would be on par with some of the, the uh, times that I've seen. Uh, we will see on the other side. Need to thumbs it up, subscribe, and share. Uh, remember, we're having fun here today, this holiday week. Uh, I hope everybody's preparing for some Thanksgiving. Nothing wrong with a little Thanksgiving. And uh, we'll be back after this word from our sponsor. We interrupt today's programming to bring unfortunate news. Biden's dangerous plan for a digital dollar is underway. Don't be fooled. It won't benefit you. So take action now. The Federal Reserve's phased deployment of FedNow began on July 1st, 2023. Be prepared. This may catch many off guard and put your hard-earned assets in jeopardy. But here's the good news. There's a simple legal tax loophole to opt out of the digital dollar. Speak to someone at American Alternative Assets for a free wealth protection guide and discover how to safeguard your wealth with gold and silver IRAs against a failing dollar and volatile markets. Dial 833, the number 2 USA Gold. Yes, call now, 833-287-2465. This invaluable guide provides precise steps to transfer your IRA or 401k into precious metals without any tax consequences. Don't let Biden force you into using the government's new digital dollar. Call 833, the number two USA Gold. Yes, call now. 833-287-2465. Act swiftly. 833-287-2465. All right, we've just defeated Klaus Nutschwab. Let's see what the epilogue is. Oh, put the sound back on here. And here we go. The New World Order is no more. Mission complete! So that's it. That's the full run. That, you know, and obviously extremely short. Uh, a lot of people will be like, oh, that's way too short. You get a co-op in this. Um, like, you get to be uh, an Owen Troyer or Harrison Smith or one of the other old school hosts you get unlockables in this uh th this is a win start to finish i mean pretty fun i'm not gonna lie way more fun than some of the other subject matter that i intend to talk about aka pandemic treaty stuff so we're gonna we're gonna wait until the uh second hour if you will uh uh to to go over most of that stuff but i did want to go over this one story right here uh, because it shows you, and especially because we had the Canadian trucker thing in there, that you can fight back and you can win. And it's not going to be easy. Um, but if you fight back hard enough for long enough, you can beat 
um, the COVID-1984 nightmare and other nightmares uh, of authoritarianism like that one. So uh, th this gentleman, I believe it's uh, either James or Jeff Johnson, and he had a restaurant, out, I believe it was out in Calgary, and of course they they got mad at him, not, all, not so much for the shutdowns, I believe, because he was serving people. In fact, let, let's bring it up, because I know I had the story on here. Uh, I think it's James Johnson. Let's see. James Johnson, Calgary, win lockdowns. Um, me, well, no, it wasn't James Johnson. Let's see. I got Johnson's. Um, nope, that's not it. Calgary win. And it's so hard with, with Google anyway. Just un unreal. And I had it. Let's see. Um, nope. Here is Jesse Johnson. Okay, so that's where it is. So, I, so hard to find anything. Let, and here it is right here. So, um, why is it not going to it? Yeah. Calgary restaurant acquitted on COVID charges after business crushed by pandemic policies. Okay. And we've got this video right here. And hopefully we don't get in trouble for this. Oh boy. I, actually, man, we might get in trouble for playing this. Like, like, because the World Health Organization still wants to crush you. I mean, this is the type of propaganda they're putting out like this week to try to get you on that treaty schedule. Let's play that first. And and then, like, second hour, we'll play this clip. So UN's top officials say that the, the treaty could make the world safer. Well, it could make the world more dangerous. So things could do a lot of things. Not would, not will, could. That's, that's the new shebang. It could. All this could help. Really? Huh. Well, well thank you so much for the coulds. Uh, I'd prefer the wills. And I, I saw how you acted prior to that. I mean, come on. And who's fallen for it? Less and less and less and less and less people. Thank God. Thank God. Y you know, for the, for the second hour, part of it, I I'm really tempted to play the uh, JFK Warren C. Uh, DeBru breakdown. In fact, I, I think we're probably going to do that for, for most of the second hour. We're going to play some of these clips. But I was just so taken aback by Fred Litwin yesterday. Okay? He, he, I'm interviewing a, a separate person on JFK today. But the Fred Litwin stuff, I was a teenage cons uh, I, I, I was a teenage JFK conspiracy uh, freak was his first book. But when I asked him what made him a freak, he's just like, oh, just that I believe the conspiracy theory that Oswald didn't do it. Like that doesn't make you a freak uh, or, or, or really into something. It doesn't really feel like you studied anything. And you know, then you hear him pontificating on the Oliver Stone film. I'll admit that I did not see the uh, Oliver Stone uh, documentary series on JFK. And apparently uh, his new book, Oliver Stone's Flim Flam, The Debbie Gag of Dealey Plaza is in there. Yeah, you know, that's another thing. I'm just wondering what I, if I type into DuckDuckGo, we won't even try it on Google. DuckDuckGo, okay? DuckDuckGo.com. Um, let's see. And we do Clay Shaw, CIA. See if anything comes up. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, military officer and part-time contract, contact of the domestic uh, contact service of the CIA. So the guy did work with the CIA. But, uh, you know, apparently he's the greatest guy ever. And Jim Garrison just hated gay people. And Warren C. DeBrew, who we're going to show in that, that second hour, 
um, because I do think it's so damn important. We'll show you that video. There's nothing to it. There, there's nothing. Jason, why do you even care about uh, Oswald being uh, tracked by one of the head guys in the FBI that would be put in charge of the overnight investigation? Why would you be concerned that another one of that guy's informants said he was an informant for the FBI? I mean, you're a conspiracy kook, Jason. And it's just like, I, I wonder how many of these books this guy sells. And at the same time, we do want um, a diversity in opinion. Right, man, this thing is an hour and nine minutes. And, and it's pretty much good start to finish. So, hmm, I don't want to cut 50, the, the final 15 minutes of this thing out. That's for sure. Uh, let's let's get it going, okay? And uh, man, I had that I had the pandemic treaty stuff and a few other articles, but this just seems too important. Okay, so that that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this going right now. Boom, boom. Hey everybody, Jason Burmis here, and get ready to go deep. We are going. Well, I guess we're not not going that deep, Jason Burmis. Because you've frozen up as you're on an external old school hard drive that's not an SSD. So it's going to take a while. Deep for dive Saturday right now on a subject that I think really hasn't gotten its due, especially recently. I feel like after the President of the United States guaranteed us that we were going to finally get all of the JFK documents, and he failed not once. But then six months later, he failed again. And since then, we just haven't heard anything about them. Obviously, we're not going to get all the documents. And many of them are going to remain <clears throat> classified. Now, many years ago, I want to say this uh, as well, because he, all, you know, I asked him, why not just declassify? Oh, everything basically has been declassified. There are people that are still alive and their names have been redacted. Uh, everything's been declassified, at least in part. And I don't believe that either. That's Johnny nonsense. But again, you still got people purveying this uh, this official version. Man, what what is this, like five years ago? Four or five years ago? A, a, a younger Burmese, for sure. A younger Jason Burmese with uh, much less gray hair, because the grays are popping these days, folks. I did a documentary film called Invisible Empire, and in it, I show a document that I think was put out by like a local NBC or ABC affiliate back in 2004. I specifically remember, if you go to the Internet Archives, um, Paul Joseph Watson's Propaganda Matrix uh, covered it, Infowars covered it, and um, ever since then, it's been gone. And when I looked at this document, I was kind of blown away because it was a document from the head of the CIA uh, at the time, John McCone, to, uh, let's see, let's make sure that we can get in here, yeah, to the head of the Secret Service at the time, uh, James Rowley. Now, I want to say this right now. There are many people that think they have debunked this document. For instance, there's a Steemit article here, and in it, you know, I've read it, Basically, they overlay this and say, look, these are other documents. Uh, they've been moved. I'm not quite convinced that that is, in fact, the case. Is it a possibility? There is a possibility there. Absolutely. But when I saw that James Corbett had said um, people are promoting this uh, document that's obviously fake that I respect, I thought he was referring to me, and I said, you know what? I absolutely respect James Corbett. So I've got to find out whether there is any truth to this document. So I took a closer look, okay? And we're going to take just a close look really quickly of this document. Because in it, it claims that uh, Oswald was trained by the CIA under the Office of uh, Naval Intelligence for Soviet assignment uh, during preliminary training in 1957, subject... Uh, was well, I'm sorry. I have I have a better one. Uh, subject was 
man. Active in aerial reconnaissance of mainland China and maintain a security security clearance up to confidential level at that point. Now, we're going to find a whole bunch of stuff out, but what really got me was this right here. He is particularly concerned about the De Bruy Memorandum, which Central Intelligence has obtained and which I understand you have obtained. It is imperative that this information, at least for the time, remain under wraps. And he talks about how Hoover, the head of the FBI, also has this. Okay? So now we've got the head of the FBI, the head of the CIA, and uh, the head of the Secret Service all talking about this De Bruy memorandum. So I said to myself, well, let's find out if this is a real document because not only does it claim that Oswald was trained by the CIA, but the people that did this were rogue agents of all three. Okay, ro and that's going to fit in. Guys, buckle up because we're going to be here for at least an hour, maybe a little bit more. So I start searching, you know, and I did find something and I did a whole video on it. So some of the stuff um, will be overlapped, but the majority of stuff in this video, Kennedy Killers Revealed, How to Name Names, um, is all here. It's a 40 minute doc and that is behind me, Warren C. DeBruy. And what are you looking at here? What are you looking at? Well, you're looking at the fact that Warren C. DeBruy wrote the initial initial, look how to Google it right here. You, you write this little passage up and you'll find this, the initial investigation into JFK the night of the assassination. Let me repeat that. It is without debate that the man that is in the title of this did the initial investigation into the JFK murder. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. Okay, we're going to come back. I'm going to tell you where you can find the second hour, rvmrumble.com, and then we're going to play that uh, because I really do think it's extremely important, even all these years later, to, to put to rest the idea that everything's just a coincidence and they told us the truth in the Warren Commission. Everything's okay. Everything is not okay. Everything is not okay. So we'll be back after this word from our sponsor. If you're like me and you want to be prepared for the unexpected. That's where the wellness company's emergency medical kit comes Over 40% of Americans say that they would avoid a doctor or a hospital unless it was a catastrophic situation. Medical emergency kits with. The kit contains eight potentially life-saving medications for you to keep on hand in the event of natural disasters, supply chain shortages, medical emergencies, or like an apocalyptic situation. These are the actual medications that you would need in the event of certain situations. So they've got emergency antibiotics, antivirals, antiparasitics. All right, use that promo code RVM. Remember, right now, if you do sign up for the premium, redvoicemedia.com slash uncensored, there's a uh, contest for a firearm on top of supporting the broadcast and supporting real news. I, we had some fun today, but uh, you know this is a real deep dive that you're about to continue to watch that uh, I'm still proud of to this day, or I would not be playing it for you. So YouTube, we'll see you on the flip, and everybody else who wants to join, come on over to RVM Rumble.